Ayo. 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 Uh. Actress Frederica Carolyn Washington was born on December 23, 1903 in Savannah, Georgia. Her father, Robert T. Washington, was a postal worker and her mother, Harriet Walker Ward Washington, was a dancer. Freddie, born with fair skin, wavy hair, and green eyes, was the eldest of five siblings. Her mother died when she was 11, and her father later remarried, placing her and her sister Isabel in St. Elizabeth's Cov Convent in Cornell Heights, Pennsylvania. Washington left when she was 16 and moved to Harlem, New York City, to live with her grandmother and aunt. In 1922, she joined the all-black musical Shuffle Along as a chorus dancer, touring with the troupe for four years. In 1926, she made her debut as an actress in a leading theater role opposite Paul Robeson in A Black Boy. But with the limited number of acting opportunities for black actors, she decided to move to Europe, where she worked as a part of a ballroom dance troupe touring France, Germany, and England. The young actress returned to the United States in 1928, securing small parts in various stage and screen productions. In 1934, she was a cast in her best-known movie role in the Academy Award-nominated adaption of the Fanny Hearst novel, Imitation of Life. She played the role of Piola, a young, light-skinned African-American woman who attempts to escape society's discrimination by passing for white. Bizarrely, Washington was so convincing in the role that some accused her of denying her heritage in real life, a charge she was quick to refute. In Imitation of Life, I was showing how a girl might feel under circumstances, but I am not showing how I felt, she told the Chicago Defender in 1935. As has been the case with many light-skinned African-American actresses throughout history, Washington was often considered too light for Hollywood's few black roles. Like Lena Horne after her, she too wore heavy makeup to darken her skin for the black roles she did get, such as when she played the part of Udine in the 1933 film Emperor of Jones. In fact, throughout her career, Washington turned down a number of chances to pass for a white actress in movie roles and was always vocal about being a proud black African American. No matter how white I look on the inside, I feel black. She proclaimed in 1945. After the imitation of Life movie, Washington's career hit a wall. With few opportunities for her in Hollywood, she decided to quit movies altogether. Politicized by her experiences, she became a writer and civil rights activist. She was a founding member of the Negro Actors Guild of America, working for better opportunities for African American actors. She was also an active member of the National Association of the, for the Advancement of Colored People, NAACP. Washington died of a stroke on June 28, 1994, in Stamford, Connecticut. She was 90 years old. What's my baby one? I want to be white like a little. Piola, look at me. Am I not white? Isn't that a white girl?